camera. Fuck your face, yes. Hey everyone, this is Tally with TGN.TV and we are here on the PTR, the Player Test Realm 4.2 Firelands. The last two videos you saw me post were basically the prerequisites to the Molten Front. Uh, all the uh, Hydro quests, you have to earn about 20 uh, marks of the World Tree from the quests. And then you have actually access to go to the Firelands area where the Molten Front is. Now here's the last quest in that prerequisite chain. And um, I'm here against Lariya. It's my uh, last confrontation. Uh, you know, I did my little RP walk up to her, like a boss, and I'm like, let's do it. Let's. I'm ready for the molten front. I'm ready for these new quests. You had me freaking questing for four or five days now. Oh, why? Why am I in Roots? Awesome. So here I am, enchained in some sort of spell with Roots. I don't know what's going on. And now there's going to be some sort of crazy confrontation. I wish you could just skip these scenes. I mean, yeah, some people are really into the lore of WoW. I mean, I'm really into the lore of the um, the World Tree and all that, but I don't know, sometimes they fit in all these characters that I've never read about, maybe I just need to go to Barnes and Nobles or Borders and get more books about, you know, these characters that I've, you know, never heard of before. So I'm trying everything I can to get out of these roots. <laughs> I freed them myself right there. <laughs> I'm trying to bubble, I'm, and, oh god, she's gonna kill, she's gonna kill him. There it goes. And I'm trying to hit Avenger Shield, I'm like, no, interrupt, don't kill my Tauren brethren. And she's just like fire breathing on him or doing the Kamehameha. She's like, Kamehameha. There he goes. She, look, she's fucking overkilling him. He's on the ground. He's dead already. She keeps burning his ass until he's like cold crisp. Jesus Christ. This is, look at that. This isn't good for children. Well, then again, neither are most of my videos. But that's besides the point. I'm still trying to freedom. And she goes ahead and she turns into some crazy phoenix ashes of alar looking mount or bird form flight form i'm trying to kill her i'm like if hey, no uh, i will avenge my brothers and i'm like oh whatever and then there's this little person next to me waiting for the quest to be done <laughs> so we find out that uh rune totem is probably like really hurt bad burns all that stuff in comes some sort of doctor from the uh the hydro questing area uh, like i said not too crazy on the lore so i'm gonna fly back i'm gonna turn this quest in here and then we're gonna head over to the exciting part which is the molten front now a few things about the molten front that are exciting for me one new quests uh new something else to do in wow other than sit around in uh, the dwarven district and dance with people on my live stream or two a new pvp zone baby yeah it's like toll barad man it's like it's like a really small version of Tolbarad. Like once you get into the molten front, you're gonna wonder when the servers get really like highly populated, how are they gonna fit all those people in there? Now I don't know if there's been any type of changes where um you know only a certain amount of people can be phased in at a time, but there was some um, alliance in there with me. By the way, I am on my Torin version of Tally, the uh, Torin raiding version. Uh, I had this ca character copied about. A month or two before I moved over to kill Jaden and the huge in Japan or whatnot probably when I was still with iron might have been before that not sure but uh, yeah in case you guys were wondering this is a copied character of Tally when he was a Torin. for all you guys oh my god Tally's back to a Torin for the horde you know people are gonna start going fucking crazy and shit wondering you know what the hell is going on he first he was a dwarf and he's a Torin. he's a dwarf he's a Torin. But uh, here we go. Uh, once you turn in that quest, uh, you're going to go right to this portal here. There's a whole bunch of these portals. You click it, and bam, baby, we're in the Firelands, the Molten Front, the daily questing hub. Uh, this is Malfurion's Breach. As you can see, I'm getting all these type of errors, data missing for its 795. And then the first part involves getting rid of this Obsidian Slag Lord. Uh, Malfurion Storm Rage is around here somewhere helping you out. Uh, that was a quick view of the map for the... Um, molten front area now like i said if you look at this area here looking down uh as you know we're, we're, at, we're at the top of a mountain here looking down it doesn't seem like it's that big and it seems like there's going to be a lot of craziness going on especially in the pvp servers now let's see my power ores isn't working here so i'm just like you know dpsing as much as i can with pro with not that many buffs and uh, I sped up the video a bit because this was like 40 minutes of dailies. And I really don't think people want to see 40 minutes of Tally doing dailies. But um, once you get in here, 
uh, you'll start gaining more marks of the world tree. And then uh, once you get about, uh, I think there's a few quests to get like 120, 125 marks of the world tree. Once you get those, you'll be able to unlock the NPCs that give you the gear for the uh, Avengers of Hydro reputation, I believe it is. That's what it looks like. And, uh, man, they have some nice items. I think they have, like, an awesome trinket. They have some good uh, gear for um, uh, for prop paladins. I actually posted on HolyShield.com a few of the pieces that you get that that is tankier. One of them is this crazy trinket that helps you absorb damage first, but then it hurts you afterward. So it's kind of like WTF. Okay. Uh, so here we go. We secured a front hold on the Firelands, and we're going to go into this little uh, tunnel here. Mount Fury Storm Rage. My boy, look at him right there. Oh, God. I still think they could have done a better job with the way he looks uh, in 4.2 in the Firelands. He's supposed to be, like, all epic looking. I don't know. He puts up this beam. I don't know if I'm supposed to stand under it. I just stood under it like, oh, man. And I'm like, okay, so now what? So now he starts giving you quests. And now when you look around, you have more quests in the hub. So uh, now there's other players doing their quests with you. I think that part was phased. Uh, I don't think there was anyone there with me. But uh, most of the quests involve simple things like killing these charred, uh, charred soldiers, excuse me, um, helping wounded, um, you know, Hygel supporters, whatever they're called. And uh, yeah, there's nothing really crazy about the Molten Front. I mean, I would have wanted it to be bigger. Like, I wanted, I mean, once you see me riding around, it seems like everything's just so really, it's just small. It's just really small for me. And um, I can't wait to get some PvP action going. I'm going to definitely gather some peeps up. We're definitely going to start ganking. PvP servers are going to be crazy. So now we have Tol Barad. We have the Molten Front uh, to do a lot of our damage in PvP. Um, there's probably going to be some frustrating times in the first like week of doing these. Not even. Probably the first two to three weeks. I'm here trying to get some settings straight. I don't even know what I'm... What, what am I doing? I recorded this like three weeks ago. But... Um, what am, I think I'm trying to do the social button thing. I don't know. I think I'm trying to remove those errors. I was getting all these errors, and I just didn't know how. And uh, I think I was just, just trying to add the scroll button through the LUI. But uh, here we go. We're going to be doing some of these quests here. Uh, charred combatants, soldiers, uh, kill about, I don't know, you need like eight of those dead. Um, there's also NPCs that you have to help around the entire area. I just start chain pulling everything. These guys don't seem to pull even if you're near them or in aggro range. You actually have to hit them with something. As you can see, those 85s right there, they just ran right by me. Didn't aggro at all. So um, I'm just basically grabbing whatever I can. Um, if you're a prop paladin or a warrior or any tank, you could probably just make a nice loop around this entire fucking area and just grab like all the ads with a healer. And just burn everything down. It doesn't seem that hard. Now, the only problem I can see here in the first couple of weeks is the respawn time of most of these ads. I'm not sure um, how fast they come out. And uh, also, I've seen some people were talking about that um, you could be summoned into the Molten Front if you're a lower level character. If you're like a level 82 or 83 or 81, you could be summoned in here. And um, I, I saw a few people doing this on a PTR, and you were able to summon a lower level player in here, and then an 85 and a healer uh, in group with this level 80 would just run around the entire molten front, grab like 30 ads, burn them down, and this person would just get power leveled instantaneously. Now, I don't know if Blizzard knows about this or if they're going to let that go live. I sincerely doubt it. But yeah, it's kind of nice seeing myself play on my Torrin again. Uh, I was so excited when the Torrens were announced to be uh, Paladins. I was like, oh my god, Torrens are fucking badass. War Stomp, they're huge, they're big, they're beefy looking. And then, you know, I had to obviously, you know, put my, you know, rating ahead of my feelings to a certain race. And I had to go Alliance, and I had to go Dwarf. And throughout the Molten Front, you're going to see a lot of the bosses just spawning in the middle, giving orders. Ragnaros makes an appearance right there where all that smoke is on top of that, this little uh, mountain right in front of me. But, uh, yeah, so a lot of quests involve, uh, you know, planting seeds on the ground and all these little uh, vines come out. They start helping you in battle if you uh, attack the enemies near them. Um, is it exciting? Not really, but I still think it's something that the people should know about uh, before 4.2 comes out. This will be what it looks like once you are in the Molten Front. And uh, so, yeah, start getting your healers ready, start getting your DPS ready uh, to start chaining these quests. Um, the prerequisite itself out in normal Mount Hygel um, took me about, I think, like three or four days because um, I don't think all the quests were available, so it might have been shorter. But uh, once you're, you should be able to unlock this in about, I don't know, two or three days. 
Uh, I haven't seen many other videos about this and uh, what the exact uh, order of events is. There was also rumors that you know you couldn't do any of the prerequisite quests, prerequisite, excuse me, quests until you had like exalted with Mount Guardians of Mount Hyjal, which I don't believe is true anymore. So these are more quests here that we gained from Malfurion Stormrage. And uh, oh, look at that beefy fucking torrent. Look at that tail just swaying left like a pendulum. It's like a slong ready to be teabagged in the faces of all mages. That's not the point right here, though. <laughs> so um, I'm waiting until I take a ride here. Uh, eventually, I mount up and I start exploring more of the area. As you can see right there, the area is not that big. It may seem like it could be the size of uh, Toll Barad. I mean, I know, I know there's other questing areas way, way back there that, that branch off to the left and they branch out to the right. Uh, this is one of the quests where you help um, heal wounded Hyjal defenders. Uh, that's what I was talking about before, the protectors and defenders of Hyjal. And uh, right now, as you can see, I'm walking around and I'm not getting aggro from anything. So um, apparently you have to initiate aggro to get aggro. Uh, some of them actually did aggro to me. I'm not sure why. It just might be something that Blizzard's tweaking or working out, uh, working on this. Like I said, this is about a two-week-old video, maybe a week and a half. Um, so the, once you on, I guess, heal the defenders, uh, you actually heal them. It tells you you heal them for like 86k. Pretty awesome. Get back to work. Defend the molten front. But, uh, yeah. So let me know what you guys think. Um, are you guys excited about 4.2 Firelands? Are you guys ready for all this new questing? Uh, is it just another grind? Is it just boring? Um, my personal opinion is that... I think we're starting to run out of ideas here when it comes to dailies. And, I mean, it, it's kind of like a cycle, right? You know, a new area comes out, there's dailies. Kind of like when um, Trial of the Grand Crusader came out in uh, Wrath of the Lich King. You know, we were really, really bored, like, you know, with all the fucking old war that we had to, you know, go through. Oh, here's a... Here's some of the other areas. As you can see, in the actual Firelands 4.2 uh, instance, when you go in, all those areas that you see there that have big fire balls in front of them, like down there, those are actually like boss areas. Um, let's see. Up here we have, this is where the spider boss, I think, would be in the real Firelands. So the Firelands uh, Molten Front questing hub is basically an exact replica of the Firelands instance that you're going to be actually battling Ragnaros in. But going back to what I was saying, uh, Trial of the Grand Crusader, it just seemed like, you know, they just added a new area, new quests, new area, new quests, new area, new quests. It just doesn't seem like anything new. And a lot of the top guilds are already saying that the Firelands instance is very easy and the hard modes shouldn't be that hard at all. So that kind of worries me a little bit because what's going to happen is we're going to have an instance with only seven bosses. We're good, and the only reason that Blizzard is gonna make that instance last is because of the legendary staff, I assume, or, the, or excuse me, the legendary two-hander for uh, casters. And I just don't know what else they can do after this. I mean, are we gonna be doing the Firelands 4.2 instance for like seven, eight months before we see another, you know, tier of content? Uh, maybe a year. I don't know. Seven bosses doesn't seem much at all. So hopefully, we'll see more. Um, bosses besides the Firelands and the new one in Toll Barad. Um, and I'm hoping that Blizzard maybe changes it up a bit, thinks of some new ideas to keep the players going. Um, a lot of people are saying that WoW is on, their, is on its last legs, basically. Maybe one to two expansions the most away from basically finishing the story off. Um, I will be playing Warcraft until the Burning Legion and Sargeras comes around. Because Sargeras, in my opinion, is the main HNIC. And... I just can't wait till that expansion comes out sometime in the future. But um, once you're actually done with the Molten Front quests and you come back out to Hyjal, there's going to be more quests for you to do to get more Marks of the World Tree. This has been Tally with TGN.TV. You know, jump on a PTR, guys. Uh, accessing the PTR is fairly easy. Log into your Battle.net account. Um, click PTR. Download client. Co copy your own character over or make a new pre-made character to practice. Whatever you want. Tally with TJN.TV. Peace out. Oh, yeah, I owned him. Have a fuck your bitch!